Discord is one of the most popular social platforms, mainly for gamers, with thousands of channels that use bots for different purposes. It has to work 24-7. For this, we put it inside our own cloud server. We assign a series of permissions and then we invite it to our Discord server. Once we do this, the bot is going to start listening for different events. And these events can be, for example, when someone sends a message in a channel or when someone new comes into the server. In this case, I'm going to use discord.js, but there's also discord.py, discord.php, and a bunch of other libraries that you can use for this. Let's start off by going to discord.com slash developers, log in, and create a new application. I'm going to name it bot enter flash. Let's add an icon and save changes. Then we're going to go to bot tab and add a new bot. We're going to copy the token that this is going to give us because we're going to use it later to authenticate. Now create a new folder and in this folder in your terminal run npm in it to start the npm project. I'm going to leave this empty, but you can go ahead and fill it out. Then we're going to run npm install discord.js, and this is going to install the discord.js library in our project. Finally, I'm going to create an index.js file and open this folder in my editor. So now let's open the index file, and in here we're going to get the client from the discord.js library like this. So we're going to require discord.js and we're going to initialize the client. Then from this client, we're going to get the ready event. So on ready, and we're going to run this function, which is just going to be a console.log that says logged in as user tag. So let's Get it from the client.user.tag. Then we're going to add the client.login with our token here. But I don't want to put the token right in the code. I want to put it outside of the code in an environment file. So we're going to create a new file, call it .env. And in here, we're going to create a variable with the token we copied before from the web page. Web page. Now this file is not going to be uploaded to my GitHub repo, but I'm going to create a new one that is going to be called .env.example, and this one I will upload it because this is not going to have my token in there. It's just going to have the empty variable. Now in order to not upload my .env file to my GitHub repo, I'm going to create a .gitignore file and put my .env file in here. Just type it in, and that's it. Now with token save, we can go ahead and run npm install .env. This package is going to allow us to get the variables from the .env file into our JavaScript code. We need to require the package and then initialize it with the config variable. Now, once we do this, we can now use the variable from the token by doing process.env dot and the name of the variable which is discord bot token. Now to test this out we can run node index and as you can see the bot runs correctly. Now going back to the web page let's go into OAuth select bot then for permissions we're going to pick send messages and read message history and we're going to copy the link to invite the Discord bot. Now we're going to go ahead and access this link and invite it to your server. There's the, the permissions and I'm going to click accept on all of these. Now as you can see the bot is already running in my server. And we're going to add a couple actions to the Let's start by adding another event. This is going to be the on message event. So on message, we're going to run this function, which receives the parameter message. 
Now first we're going to split the contents of this message by spaces, so every word in an array. And we're going to check if the message starts with um, our command, which is going to be enter flash like this. So if the first word is enter flash, then it means it's talking to the bot. We're going to get the second word in the message. And if this second word doesn't exist, we're just going to return and nothing is going to happen. But in case the second word in the message exists, we're going to check what that word is. And in case the word is hello, we're also going to put it in lowercase. Then we're going to reply with another message saying hello there. Now this is async, so we're going to add an await and async on top of the function. And just restart our Discord bot like this. Now let's go into Discord and check that it works. So if we type in enter flash, just like that, nothing's going to happen. But if we type in hello, it works. And then again, I'm going to type in hello there. And it also works because it checks for the first word after the command. So I hope you guys like this video. It is just the basics of creating a Discord bot, but really the possibilities are infinite. Uh, if you liked it, please consider subscribing and liking the video because it helps out a lot. Thank you.